Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who might be new here, my name is Kieran Glover and I'm a professional web designer and developer. And for those of you who might be not new, I've been posting a few videos now all about Webflow, uh, web design and productivity here on this channel. So today for part three of this little mini series I've been doing, I thought it would be a fun video showing you all about different hosting options for the portfolio that we've been building since part one. And then I'll also be going into more detail on how to set up all the DNS settings to get the project live. Similarly to setting up a blog, there's loads and loads of options and different ways to host your website and that is to get it online. But whichever method you choose, you're going to need to do two main things, which is get a domain, that is the www.yourdomain, whatever it might be, .com, and then you've got to point that domain to some kind of server and we call this hosting. So my favorite domain purchasing platform is a platform called Namecheap and it's uh, www.namecheap.com and I've just found it to be the most cost effective method of getting a domain and they also have excellent customer service. Um, I've tried a few others in the past such as GoDaddy um, and then also there's a bunch of free ways as I just mentioned to get a domain but I've kind of settled on Namecheap right now because like I said, it's just been uh, far more cheaper and for little side websites, etc., etc., et, cetera, et cetera, uh, it's a lot more cost effective. So you just simply can go to namecheap.com or if you're using GoDaddy, godaddy.com and then you can just search what your domain, uh, what name you want. So in this case, I'm gonna just type uh, anything random. So test YouTube video, uh, something random like that and then just hit search. And then it's gonna display a bunch of different domain options that we can get and that we can purchase. And as you can see, we've got uh, testyoutube.video and it seems like .com and all that has already gone. But then you even have some pretty cool options like .xyz. I use a .xyz domain for my personal website, kierenglover.xyz. And there's a ton of different options and they all range in different prices per year. And then once you're ready and once you've settled on one, so let's say I want this XYZ one here, I can hit add to cart. And then it's pretty straightforward, like shopping on any website, view my cart, and then check out. So now that we've purchased our domain, the next thing we need to do is point that domain to some kind of hosting service. And I found the two easiest ways to host your Webflow website in particular is either on the Webflow platform itself, and it's super easy and requires hardly any technical knowledge, but it does come at a price tag. I think the cheapest option on Webflow runs at around $15 per month to host it, which is pretty expensive. So I'm gonna go through a second option, which is an awesome tool called Netlify, which also allows you to host your site for free with a little bit of technical setup. And I'm gonna go through both options now. So to host our website on Webflow, we simply need to log into our Webflow dashboard then we can see all our projects here and then you can hit these three dots and enter the settings of the particular project that we want to host. And once we're in the settings we can navigate over to the hosting tab and here we have access to a range of hosting options. In Webflow these are called site plans and they range from e-commerce sites which can go up to $235 a month uh, if you're running a big 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 uh, uh, e-commerce site and then just simple websites, uh, CMS, et cetera, et cetera. It's all clearly labeled, everything there. So in this case, we're gonna be setting up the basic hosting because for small uh, websites and smaller projects, this is more than enough that we need. Um, but if you wanted to add, uh, mine's already added, you just hit add, and then you can enter your billing or if your billing exists already, you can just hit on the switch button here and that will bill your card. And then you'll have access to this custom domain settings here. So. Now that we have access to this, we can go on to add a custom domain. And as I said, I'm doing this for a client site. So I'm gonna enter the client's uh, domain name, which is this here. Then once we've typed it, make sure it's typed correctly, you can go add a domain. And then it's gonna do a quick check. Um, and then it will say either here it's connected. So that's great, everything's already set up. But don't worry, I'm gonna go through this in more detail in a second, because most likely yours won't be set up properly. Um, and if it has issues, it's going to say it has issues and then it's going to give you some clear instructions on how to set up the DNS. But I'm going to go into a lot more detail on that now. So to get our domain pointed to the Webflow site plan that we just purchased, we're going to have to add what's called a few DNS records. Don't worry, we don't need to know what that stands for. We just need to know how to get the values of these records. 
So to do that, Webflow has it all nicely mapped out in the documentation. So it says clearly here we need to add what's called two A records, and the value of those A records are in another page, and those records I've highlighted here. And then we need to add one more record, which is called a C name uh, record, and that needs to uh, be pointed to www. and then this value that we can find here. So to do that, every domain provider is a bit different. But I'll jump over to Namecheap now and I'll show you how to do it. But basically, you just need to log in and navigate to your account dashboard. Um, I'm showing you how to do it in Namecheap, and it largely is the same whichever domain provider you're using. And as you can see here, I have all different domains that we have listed uh, that I've purchased in the past. So I'm just going to take, for example, this uh, makemusic.xyz. And we can just go into Manage. And then we can go to our advanced DNS settings here. Let's give it a second to load. Okay, and as you can see, we already have a couple of records in here now. One is pointing to this parking page. Uh, one is pointing to um, something else, uh, redirect record. We can click on this add new record below. And as you can see, we have a few different options. And as I said, we need to add two a records. So I'm going to hit a record, then one uh, the host is going to be at. So that just means the root domain, doesn't really matter what that means. And then here we have this IP address. And as you can see from the Webflow documentation, we have the IP address here. So I'm just highlighting that, command C, and then pasting it in here. Then you can leave this to automatic or you can set a time on it. Added two a records, so I'm going to add one more a record. Again, the host is going to be at. And then we're going to grab this one here, which is 76. Copy that and paste it here again. And I'll just set this to one again. And then finally, we need to add one more what's called a C name record. And the host needs to be www. As you can see, I already have one record here that I can delete. So I'm just going to leave this as is. So keep this www because that is correct. And then all we need to change is this value here and Webflow very kindly provides it clearly in the documentation here. Always use this one because Webflow throws in the SSL certificate for free, which is a huge, huge headache uh, removed from your hosting uh, setup. But yeah, I just copy that uh, value there. And I'm just gonna select this, and then I can go like that. Set this to one minute. And then that is everything that we need to do. Uh, I can delete this maybe, try to delete this again. Yeah, okay, cool. So this is how things should be looking. And then that is everything pointed to the Webflow site plan that you've just set up. And then after a little while, you can refresh your Webflow dashboard and you should see this connected and connected here. Then this allows us to publish our website if we go up here. As you can see, we have our webflow.io staging domain, but we also have the domain names that we just uh, pointed to our new Webflow site plan. Open this. As if everything has been set up correctly, you should see your website at your live domain here. So that's how you set up hosting in Webflow. And now I'm going to show you one other option, which is Netlify, which actually allows you to host your site for free. So the second option, which can be a little bit more technical, but I think it's still uh, super easy, especially if you're familiar with platforms like Webflow, and that is to host our site for free on this awesome platform called Netlify. So similarly to the first option, we first need to log into our Webflow dashboard and then navigate to the project that we want to host. But this time we're going to open the designer and we're actually going to download the code. So I'm going to take this uh, Tech Jobs KH project, which I uh, worked on a little while ago. And then, yeah, you're probably all familiar enough with Webflow if you're ready to host your project. But up here on the right hand side of this top uh, bar here, you can go to export code and then we can export all our code and prepare it for upload on Netlify. Then we just prepare a zip. And this can take a little while depending on the size of your site. But yeah, just one thing to note while we wait is the export don't include CMS or e-commerce functionality. So if you're using Webflow CMS, you can only host on the Webflow platform. But in this case, it's a static site, so it's perfect. We can host it wherever we want. So I'm gonna download the zip here. Okay, that's all in our downloads. And then we're gonna navigate over to Netlify. So I've just signed in now, and you'll have a dashboard that looks like this with a bunch of different stuff up here. 
but just make sure you're on site. Your orders may look different, it may be empty, it may have a ton of projects if you've done anything like this before. But yeah, mine has a couple of projects uh, already. But yeah, to get started, we can either import a site that we've uploaded to GitHub. But in this case, I'm literally just gonna drag in a site, which is, I think is a new feature on Netlify, but this is super awesome and just uh, means there's very little technical knowledge required. So yeah, I can drag and drop your site folder here. So I'm literally just gonna unzip the site I just downloaded from Webflow, techjobs.kh. Then I'm gonna drag it in here and then it's gonna upload. Okay, awesome. It says our site has not been deployed yet. That's all fine. And then, as you can see, if we go down, it's been published. So that means if we visit this uh, staging domain here, we already have our site all set up, but this domain is not very memorable, uh, not easy to remember, but it's really ideal for testing purposes if you want to test outside of the Webflow platform, or if you're hand coding a site, this also applies. But yeah, so the next thing we have here, it's very clear, is to set up a custom domain, and that's exactly what we want to do now. And I already have a domain for this one here. Um, you can enter the domain you just purchased from GoDaddy or Namecheap, as I mentioned, and mine is called TechJobsKH. So I can literally just take this, copy, and put it in there. Uh, I'm not sure if you need the WW. Yeah, maybe not. Yep, and it already has an owner. Okay, cool, is it me? Yes, it is indeed me, I just purchased it. Okay, awesome. So as we've just received, we cannot provision a SSL certificate for your custom domain because it's not yet properly pointed to uh, Netlify. So in order to do that, we gotta scroll up here. And as you can see, we have our domains that we decided here. And we have this little option and we can go to the DNS panel. And this just gives you a few uh, options here. You don't really need to worry about these records now because we've already added them. But what you do need to worry about is these name servers, what's called name servers. So we need to point our domain to name servers to Netlify. So in order to do that, we can just take all these values here then we can go into our domain uh, account. Um, again, I'm on Namecheap, as you already know. As you can see, we can add those values under here where it says name servers. And then I've already added them previously, but you just literally need to go in here, copy and paste them here. So it can take a little while to get everything set up. Uh, you may have a little loading thing here uh, that your HTTPS, your SSL certificate is being issued um, because Netflix has to verify that it's pointed correctly. Uh, as you remember, we switched our name servers and stuff like that just now. Um, and it can take a while. And mine just took around 10 minutes, uh, 10 to 15 minutes now for everything to be uh, set up and for me to get this uh, success message here. But then once everything is all good, you can click on one of these domains and you will have your brand new site all loaded at the domain that you pointed. And that's because Netlify just sorts out all the, the headache of changing the DNS settings and basically you give Netlify permission to manage the DNS uh, for you. Um, so you don't have to add any records like we were doing in the Webflow hosting or anything like that. It's simply drag and drop and just change those name server values that we did earlier. I got a free SSL certificate and I am hosting on Netlify for free. I haven't paid yet for Netlify. I don't know what the paywall is, but as you can see, I'm running, I think, four uh, different sites. If I go back to my team, yeah, one's a, a little side project that's not live yet with the domain. Then I'm running my personal site. I'm running, uh, yeah, four sites right now without without uh, payment. And then also, if you checked out my previous video on GitHub, it really plugs and plays super nicely with GitHub as well. So you can simply push your changes or your edits to GitHub, and then it will push uh, automatically to Netlify as well. But yeah, so that's it. So now we have our site pointed to Netlify, and we've gone over, over two main hosting options that you can use for your portfolio or any kind of website that you're working on. One is the uh, Webflow hosting that we checked out earlier, and the other is Netlify. So I really hope you found this video useful, uh, going over the two hosting options that uh, I've used in the past. And I know that there's a ton of others that we can use, but these are the ones I found to be the most easy to understand, uh, especially I'm not the most technical. Uh, I've learned a lot about the technical side of things, but when it comes to the IT side, I'll say with the pointing DNSs and understanding all that stuff, 
I'm still not the best. So I found these two options, Netlify and Webflow to be the easiest. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed these three videos. And yeah, if you found it useful, please, please subscribe and like and share the video and get in touch if you have any questions at all and check out all the links in the description as well. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.